Okay, well, Freddie, we're, we're out here in Cyprus. First of all, how good is it to be here and what do you enjoy most about being on tour? Uh, I would say the weather is quite nice because it's been raining for like two weeks in a row now in London. But come here, play nice games, can be out on the pitch for a bit longer time without freezing. So it's nice, nice. Do you think that's a, a real benefit, the fact that you can come on here and play in a bit warmer heat and maybe a bit of a better pitch at this time of year? I think you can do everything maybe a lot more specific. You can be out for longer, be set pieces without like getting cold. You can do shape work because that's not high intensity work. You can do all these bits that you want to do in winter, but you can't do it because of the heat and cold. And if we just look back at, at February as a month, what's your overriding feelings in terms of how things have gone for the team recently? I think we are proving us every game that we are extremely fit and we can face all the opponents we actually do. Uh, I guess Chelsea is one example that we like came there and they have a quite good squad. Loft the Sheik is playing, but we go there and be strong and face 2-1-0. Two, two so in terms of the result against Chelsea, it was a, a really good performance. What were your thoughts in the dressing room after it? Everyone was very delighted with the result and I think we faced them like quite early this season. Maybe we got a quite big lose, so it was nice to that we've proven us and get 2-1 win, so it's good. 2-0 oh, win, yeah. And in terms of getting your, your goal as well, is that something you're keen to add to as the season goes on? Yeah, before my injury I had like, a couple of goals against Mitchell and so on, so it was nice to get the form back and keep scoring goals now and get some more points. Later that week we went to Salzburg to play FC Liefering. What were your feelings on that game? Because although it was a 4-2 scoreline, it, it certainly wasn't a bad performance, wasn't it? No, it wasn't a bad performance. I think we were like, on a top games this season, I think we're just unlucky we conceded some sloppy goals that we like normally usually do. So I think we, yeah, we we're a bit unlucky there. Yeah. Just on those defensive goals that you conceded, it's a learning process, and it? it's certainly something you're going to get get better from. Yeah, I would say like every team has their games where like you're quite sloppy in the defense, and it's just like try to minimize those games because that was that will take care of us down that game. Yeah. Probably, probably the only real negative was that um, PC39 Academy game at Jersey Road, which you came on as a sub. Do you feel as a team you, you probably underperformed that day? Yeah, it's not many games that I can think about that we underperformed, but that game was definitely like, not a good game. Um, the stand was not good, good, quite, quite there, so yeah, that's the game that we need to not have too often, because that was not the standards we want to have. Then we went a real a real highlight when we went to the semi-final against Wimbledon in the London Senior Cup. Yeah. Are you progress? Are you are you really happy to progress to the semi-final in that competition? Yeah, I always love to win and keep a step closer to the finals. And we're up 1-0 and then concede two goals and then get a comeback 2-2 and then win on penalties. That just shows our mentality and how strong we are. Yeah. In terms of penalty shootouts, is that something you, you boys will, will all learn from in terms of you've, you've won two this season already? Yeah, I think that the final bit of penalties is all about Find yourself mentality and like as a squad can come together and win on penalties is is, is an example of how strong we are together. So we're in two semi-finals at the moment. We've got Wellstone in the middle six and then we go on to Erif in the London Senior Cup. How much do you enjoy playing in those cup competitions? Because they're something different, aren't they, from every other game? Yeah, it's often we don't know that much about our opponents and they're quite quite physical and. We mostly play like a queen teams that are quite good on possession, so it's a big difference what we play on. We can come to quite bad pitches and we just need to adopt to that and focus on the game and try to get this result on our side. And I guess the team will be confident going into into that those two semi-finals that you can go all the way and win both maybe? Yeah, last year I think we won one and lost one, so it would be really nice to go to the final in both cups this season and hopefully win both. And just looking at your progression as an individual, how do you feel you're, you're coming along at this stage of the season? I think, yes, as I mentioned before, I had this injury in the beginning of the season. And uh, I think now that I'm back to the levels I was before the injury, and I'm just looking forward to finish the season in a good way. A taste of that first team football as well, that must have been a, a real highlight of the season. Yeah, I put up a goal this season before it started that I was going to do my first team debut. And uh, obviously I did it, but my goal now is to do it in championship also. And just looking at the, the time in Cyprus at the moment, it was a 6-0 win over Paphos. What were your, your thoughts on that performance? Because there was a lot of positives to take, wasn't there? Yeah. Before the game, it was quite, it was quite hot outside. And uh, I think we just did what we do. We press hard and we, we actually outrun the opponents. And we are much fitter than them. And obviously 6-0 was quite a big result. And I think we, it was a great game.
and Neil's spoken a lot about working hard and you get your rewards and that certainly paid off with the, with the six goals. It, it certainly seemed like you were sharp right from minute one. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's just switched on and we have been in like quite good form recently and training has been good so that's just affect what we do in training. And finally next week we host Rangers at Griffin Park. How good would it be to see as many supporters down there as possible? I have a memory of Griffin Park when we played a beating game in the last cup final. It was a special feeling to play with a B team and find like a quite big audience. That's nice.